The British Army has received its first domestically built boxer armoured vehicle, marking a key milestone in the United Kingdom's £5 billion, $7 billion, program to deliver 623 units across multiple variants. Produced by Rheinmetall Bay Systems Land, RBSL, at its Telford facility, the vehicle has been transported to Bovington, where it will serve as a training platform. In a statement, RBSL said, In the latest of many exciting milestones being seen in our boxer program, the very first boxer to be completed at RBSL's Telford facility is now in the hands of the British Army. The vehicle was delivered from ATT to hashtag Bovington to start life as a training vehicle. Here, soldiers will learn to drive, operate and maintain the vehicle. The delivery comes as part of a modernization effort to equip the Army's future mechanized infantry with a platform offering modularity, high mobility, and enhanced protection. The Army plans to acquire troop carriers, ambulances, command vehicles, and specialist carriers under the program. According to the UK Army, Boxer is designed to rapidly transport soldiers to and around the battlefield, enabling them to conduct their special to arm roles. The platform integrates cutting-edge threat detection, including 360-degree high-definition long-range cameras that can scan for enemy activity even while moving at speed. The system alerts the crew via digital display, allowing them to maintain situational awareness while remaining protected inside the vehicle. The Boxer is also equipped with air conditioning for operations in extreme temperatures and a nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC, protection system to counter hazardous threats. Around 75% of the vehicle's components are sourced domestically, with production underway at RBSL in Telford and WFEL in Stockport. The program is expected to support around 400 direct jobs at the two sites and more than 1,000 across the wider UK supply chain. With UK-based production now in full swing, deliveries will continue through the decade, with the first units already preparing soldiers for operational use.